The biggest eyesore in my garden is getting a much needed makeover today, so let's get started. Two winters ago, we had a really bad freeze that took out these three old hollies that surrounded our lamppost out front. And we thought given some time, maybe they would bounce back, but I've decided that we should go ahead and rip them out and make room for some flowers around the lamppost because I think that will look much better than its current state right now. Going into the project, we weren't too confident that we would be able to take out the whole root system of these hollies. So we just took bit by bit, taking out the live foliage and watering around the roots so that we might be able to pry them out a little bit easier. We decided that we wanted a different style of border other than the existing concrete with Pebble One, so we went ahead and took that out as well. After getting out as much grass and leaves as we could, we decided our best approach was to flatten the holly trunks as much as we could with a chainsaw. While cleaning out the garden bed, we also found two black widows, so that's always nice. It ended up being quite a challenge, but we did eventually get the holly trunks down to pretty much flat, and it was time to put in our new rubber border. We picked this up from Home Depot, and it comes with these little nails that you nail it into the ground. My vision for this garden bed is to use exclusively annuals so that I can rotate them season to season. Since it's the middle of the summer, I went ahead and picked some zinnias and angelonia to plant. I figure annuals are my best bet because we're going to build up the soil and annuals don't have to develop extensive root systems. So the amount of soil that we're putting in should be just fine. And over time, those holly roots are going to continue to break down, so I think we'll be fine. Went ahead and buried the zinnias in their pots so that we can know how far to build up the soil for planting them. Now that we've built up our soil, I'll go ahead and take out the zinnias from their pots. And like always, when you encounter potted plants, you want to break up the roots underneath so that they're not pot bound and you encourage them to spread out. Something that I often do is buy annuals that have been clumped together. For instance, these angelonias, there were four that came together in the pot and I knew that I could separate them and spread them out. You have to do the calculation of what is cheaper, but oftentimes I find that you spend less money buying a bigger clump of together that you can separate rather than buying the individual ones. I may end up adding some more in later, but man, I'm so happy with how this garden bed turned out. We just have to add our mulch now. As always, thanks for watching and happy gardening.